Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV, and this is I'm your host, M from High Media TV, and today we have late night news again. Uh, our top headline of the day is getting into the dock worker strike that went into effect at midnight for the past evening. But let's get into some of our headlines for the day. Firstly, Iran fires dozens of missiles missiles into Israel retaliating for months-long regional attacks from Israel. Rescuers scour North Carolina mountains for survivors cut off by Hurricane Helene. Trump, Donald, former President Donald Trump, calls Waltz, uh, uh, Vice President Candidate Waltz a moron, as betting odds show him Waltz favored over Vance ahead of high-stakes VP debate. Still reeling from Helene's aftermath, a new tropical storm is developing in the Gulf. California sues Eureka Hospital for denying a woman an emergency abortion. Doctors issue stark warning as Louisiana, Louisiana reclassifies abortion pill as controlled stub substances. Bipartisan bill emerges to cut Congress recess short in, as to get funding and support quickly to, to states affected by Hurricane Helen. And the DOJ launches first federal probe of 1921 Tulsa race massacre. And now on to our primary story of the day. Court workers strike across the east and Gulf coasts. Nearly 50,000 members of the International Longshoremen's Association are on strike Tuesday against the nation's east and Gulf coast ports. The strike, which began at midnight, will stop the flow of a wide variety of goods over the docks of almost all cargo ports from Maine to Texas. It could also stop U.S. exports now flowing through those ports, hurting sales for American companies. The ports involved include the Port of New York in New Jersey, the nation's third largest port by volume of cargo handled. It also includes ports with other specialities. They, the, the, the union says that they, the union plans for 24-7 demonstrations and will stay on the picket line until its demands are met. The, L, uh, the ILA intends for the demonstrations to continue around the clock for as long as it takes for the United States Maritime Alliance to meet the demands of the rank and file members. The union says it demands a $5 an hour increase in pay in each of the six years over the course of the next contract. It also wants airtight language that ports will no longer introduce automation or semi-automation and also wants all royalties for the containers to go to the workers. Unlike last time, there was a, 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 a union strike potentially for a large transportation sector. This uh, last time was trains. The Biden administration got blasted for um, uh, uh, breaking that last strike. And now while Biden did deliver on uh, the workers' needs after the fact, it was less reported than the initial thing. And the Biden administration is urging the companies this time to come to the table and get poor workers back on the job, as well as, in, in as well as not breaking the strike this time, which I am very much happy that he did. He didn't do. I think broadly speaking, uh, Obviously, today, if you can get in before they close, go to BJ's, go to Costco, go to Aldi's, go to whatever big box store, get as much, you know, paper goods as you can, uh, get any goods that you can't, that, that are necessities that you can't normally get from farmers markets uh, and post up. Um, we don't know how long this strike is going to be going for. At an estimated $5 billion of economic impact a day, um, you know. These workers are the backbone of our economy and 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 our and our supply chains, and they deserve to be duly compensated. So let us hope that the the uh, uh, the the um, companies involved stop hemming and hawing and give the workers uh, the due due pay that they deserve. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and. Be a part of it you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and given the financial situation of the economy right now i know this is a tall ask but if you have the scratch to, to spare please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg slash tip all of our perks are serviced through our discord channel including early access videos exclusive videos and more 
your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.